Hey, beautiful people, all praises to the Most High. So Satan and his agents are giving me a fight right now. So I don't speak to you guys. They're doing all kind of winds with the elements, blowing in the full. I mean, really, but with the grace of God, I am going to get this message out. Listen to me, beautiful people. The fearful and unbelieving is not going to make heaven. If coronavirus, if you're fearful of coronavirus, you're go how are you going to be? How are you going to stand in the end time battle? How are you going to stand when the Lucas comes on the scene? How are you going to stand when the fallen angels come on the scene? How are you going to stand when demons come on the scene? How are you going to do in the three days of darkness? If you can't even stand the pestilence and the famine, all right? what makes you think things are going to get worse or not better? You get me? It's called judgment. So we got pestilence now, and we have famine. So, you know disease we're waiting for there's so much things that are going to take place and if you can't you're worried about a little pestilence and you're letting the spirit of fear come upon you that means you're going to hell you understand we got supposed to be casting off the spirit of fear we're not supposed to be inviting the spirit of fear on us we're supposed to be casting off the spirit of fear you know god gave you power peace love and a sound mind let me tell you worry panic and fret you allow the spirit of fear to come in you when you worry, you allow the spirit of worry and doubt. You know, when you worry and fret, you ex you, you also allow the spirit of double-mindedness to come inside you, all right? So you got double-mindedness. Now you got fear. Now you got the spirit of fear and you got the spirit of double-mindedness. And you got the spirit of doubt. All right, those are like the worst spirits to be tackling with because it just means that you're, you're a coward. And I already told you already, God hates a coward, all right? He didn't call you... He, he made you powerful, all right? He made you power, peace, love, and a sound mind. You're his creation. He made you in his image. Why are you so fearful? Why are you not standing up for God? I don't get you. You're called to be a soldier. Rise up. Put on your armor and rise up. No plague shall come nigh unto thy dwelling. I told you guys that already. And then all these fake YouTubers come and took Psalms 91 like God told them. When it's because they don't read their Bible. They heard me talk about Psalms 91. Now everybody knows Psalms 91. When they don't live Psalms 91 because they don't know, they don't call upon the Creator's name and He doesn't answer them because they don't know His name. So you got to live Psalms 91. A lot of you be faking the funk. So I'm going to tell you don't allow, don't allow panic, worry, and doubt to come into you because you allow the spirit of double, -mind double mindedness, the spirit of doubt, and the spirit of a fear to come in you and it'll destroy you. Those demons will destroy the heck out of you. Okay. So let me tell you, coronavirus is for unbelievers and sinners. Okay. Coronavirus is for unbelievers and sinners and those who don't have no spiritual foundation with God. So those are the people who are fretting. What did God say? Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither thou be envious of the workers of iniquity. These are them who's catching it. Good people are not catching these things. God-fearing God people are not catching these things. All right? This is punishment. This is what you call judgment. All right? So if these people don't want to catch corona, they better fast and pray and ask God to protect them. Because if you can't even see, if you can't manage to see these things that are happening, what about when the Lucas comes on the scene? What about when, you know, the, the, the demons come on the scene? What are you going to do? You're going to be crying? What are you going to do? You're not going to pray? What are you going to do? I really want to know. Drop in the comments. Tell me what you're going to do.